Hey y'all, welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. So this video is all about my cash envelope system and how I use it in my Louis Vuitton uh, Zippy Organizer wallet. All right, so I know in a couple videos I've already told you that I'm a bit frugal, right? Uh, and now you're wondering, girl, how frugal are you and you got this Louis Vuitton? Well, okay, listen. Um, the reason why I went ahead and got the Louis Vuitton wallet was because I went through two Michael Kors wallets in the past year in doing my um, envelope system within my wallet. And I wanted a wallet that was going to, um, to last. And the price of this particular wallet, because I got it pre-loved, um, was about the same as the two wallets combined that I went through in the year. So that's how I justified it. I paid cash for it. I saved for it. I stalked um, this particular website to be able to get it and I got it for um, less than retail value because I got it pre-loved. I didn't have a problem doing that. I wanted a wallet that was going to last me. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's get started. All right, so this is the wallet um, and um, it opens up like this but my cash envelope system is inside of it okay I didn't clean this wallet out I wanted you all to see just you know how I use it um, so right here is where I keep my passport and all of my receipts um, and you'll see that I keep my um, my coupons that I use when I'm going shopping in here as well so I have my cards here but I don't use them typically um, I, because I go with the cash system so in here um, I do tend to keep change um, and at the end of the day um, I would take the change out and put it into a coin jar in our house uh, that coin jar is where we save for Christmas and that um, allows us to pay cash for our live Christmas tree that we get at the end of the year um, and then whatever ornaments that the kids want to go ahead and put on the tree we, we get it out of that so for my envelope system I've created categories within my wallet look don't judge me on <laughs> on my dividers they're a little raggedy I'm gonna fix it but in a minute because right now they're doing all right okay my micro cores wallet is actually what caused them to look like this because they kept getting stuck in the zipper um but anyway like i said don't judge so i'm at the end of this pay period at matter of fact i get um i get paid tomorrow because i'm filming this on a thursday um and so i'll go ahead and re-up with that but so if you can see inside of my wallet um are these categories and um, this category says restaurants. So whatever, there's nothing there. Um, I'm out of town, so I left the money with my husband. Um, but the restaurant, and we use that money to eat out for the two weeks during the pay period. This one um, says, I think that says groceries. Nope, that says date night. So we put $75 per pay period into our date night category. Um, in our eating out budget, we do $100 um, per pay period for that. Um, before I was doing like $50 a month, but I realized that didn't work, okay? So let me just go ahead and take it out. You can see, you see how it fits, you know, <clears throat> within the wallet, but it's easier to explain it if I take it out. So this is my gas category. So I put I put um, $175 in here per pay period. And that's because it usually costs me um, $50 a week to fill up, but just in case I drive a little bit extra that month or that, uh, that particular pay period, I have the extra and I don't want to go over um, and then what happens at the end of the pay period is if I don't uh, or if I have money left over I go ahead and put it into my sinking fund and I use it in, in my car fund to be able to pay for my oil changes or whatever else is necessary for my car and so you can see because I'm at the end of the pay period um, I will have $120 left over and that will go into um, into my sinking fund and that's really because I've been out of town so I haven't been driving my car. Um, so the next category here, uh, oh no, that was the gas. So the next category here 
is groceries okay and so I left my husband um, with the money to buy the groceries for last week I buy groceries every Sunday so I actually gave him the money for this Sunday's grocery trip um, and this is what I saved from uh, last week's grocery trip so whatever he doesn't use for this week and this money will be used to buy groceries this Sunday um, I refill my envelopes um, on Sunday night uh, to be able to keep up, you know, with the demands of the week or whatever. So the next section is my miscellaneous money. Um, I used all of my money this pay period, which is a little bit, um, it, it's an anomaly for me because I'm a little stingy with my money. Um, I told you before that when using cash, it makes you really, really stingy um, because you don't want to see it leave your hand, right? But this month, I was fast because I was going out of town. I was like, you know, I want to get my nails done. I want to get my toes done. Mm -mm, no. When I went to the store um, or to the nail salon, I remembered why I don't go get my nails done. Because I'm cheap. And it was $60 for a gel manicure um, and a regular pedicure. Not even gel. And I was like, oh, yeah, they're cute. But, um... Mm, no, we won't be doing a next pay period um, because I don't have any money left. But I give myself $100 per pay period into my miscellaneous fund. Um, and so now what's back here is the miscellaneous fund that I give to my children. Um, so my oldest daughter, who's 11, she gets $20 every pay period. She started to ask to be able to keep her own money. So I give it to her on Sunday and then... Um, she knows that from that money she needs to give me two dollars for church um, and then two dollars for savings so she really gets to keep uh, sixteen dollars and she gets to do whatever she wants to do with that money over the course of those two weeks but she cannot ask me for anything that is not a necessity okay so necessities we still cover um, but if she wants something extra then she has to pay for it out of her money the two little ones they get ten dollars each but they do the same thing they give me ten percent which is a dollar for savings and then a dollar for church my son he is stingy too, which is why he still has money. Um, I gave my husband his $10 for this week while I was gone, but he still had $20 left with me. So his is here. Um, my daughter, she's a spendthrift, so I have to hold on tight to her money. So this is her extra money that she had left over from last pay period that I will transfer over into um, to her little savings that I have for her. Um, and then he has her money, okay? so. When I put all of my categories back into my wallet, this is what it looks like. It sits in there quite nicely. Um, it's easy for me to go into it. I don't, I don't do the clip system because that just seems a bit too cumbersome. Um, I don't carry individual envelopes. I just went ahead and put them all in here. Um, it's easy to get to because they're labeled. Um, it's easy to find. And this wallet is large enough that I can hold pretty much everything in it. See, there are different sections. So if I need to subsection my money, um, then I put it here. Like if I put my tithe money in my wallet, then I'll put it in one of these sections. It's large enough to be able to cover it. Right now, um, looks like I have coupons and extra receipts in here. Um, and if there's some money that I've segregated, um, then I just go ahead and put it in here. But this is how I do my cash envelope system in this particular wallet. This is a Zippy Organizer wallet. It's the largest one. I went with this one specifically because I wanted something to be able to have my envelope system in. Um, and this is the one that I thought could do that the best. Right now, um, I've had it for um, a few weeks and I like it so far. Um, I also went ahead and bought this one because with Louis Vuitton, if anything happens to it, I can take it back to the store. Even though I brought it pre-loved, um, I had it authenticated so I can take it back to the store and they will fix whatever the problems were versus Michael Kors where I just have to throw that wallet away and start all over. All right, so this is my envelope system. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if you want me to go over my categories or go slower on something or if you wanna know more about this. Um, so come back with me and I will stuff my envelopes, um, how I do them on Sunday um, after I go to the bank after a pay period. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Join me on this financial journey. Welcome uh, to Journey to Peace with me. Um, and I like to see you on the next video.